Hi. See one number. Hey. <laughs> I have a signal if I sit in here. And it just reminds me I forgot to close. I'll be right back. I have to close a door. Be right back, be right back. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. My husband works nights and he's still asleep. So I figured I better um, close the door. Hey there. Before um, I wake him up before he has to be woke up. Because that's um, a shitty thing to do to someone who works nights. So, Sunday afternoon. Hey. Hi everybody. Um, I'm on East Coast time so it's late afternoon for me. And um, broadcasting, unfortunately, not by the stream this time because uh, the internet signal is really low today. And does anybody on here have a recommendation for satellite internet? I'm super frustrated with our internet options. We live in the mountains, so they're limited. Um, but I was looking at HughesNet, which just has to be better than LJ Telephone Company, who I'm really pissed at. Anyway, we're, that's not what we're talking about today, but if somebody does have experience with satellite internet, I would love to know, because right now my upload speeds are often below 1.0. Right now they're 1.15, which is like a red letter day. So we're going to talk about um, the weekly schedule. I've been scoping on Mondays about Young Living Essential Oil and a tool for shifting your mood. So your mood's in your control. And after you've processed the information that it's giving you, like if you have a negative mood or something bad happens and you process through it, then we've been talking about tools to um, get back to center, get back to where you want to feel. So I've been covering an oil on, and a mood shifting tool on Mondays. So I'm going to add to that a meditation, either a guided meditation. Um, this Wednesday we're going to do a chant. Uh, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, which comes from Soka Gakkai Buddhism. And we're going to do that. I'm going to do a whole, it's Ganyo, G O N G Y O. And I'll chant Daimoku, which is Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, over and over for several times before Ganyo and after. And that's called Daimoku. So we'll do that on Wednesday, or I'll do a guided meditation. I'm just trying to set up a schedule for some consistency for my followers. And I really appreciate you guys um, sticking it out with me through all the technical technical troubles that I've had. So I appreciate that. So Monday, going to do an oil, obviously, and a giveaway. Hi, Chloe. Going to do a giveaway Monday at the end of the scope. And I try to keep my scopes pretty short because I have a thank you for the hearts. I have a pretty short attention span myself, and I know that um, social media has bred in all of us the attention span of a goldfish. So I'm going to give away on Monday these five little samples. And there's enough in here for a couple of uses. Um, Young Living Oils are the ones that I focus on. There's lots of them out there. Just, you know, do your own research and go with which oil feels best to you, but I find that um, the energetic feeling of Young Living Oils is more powerful for me and my body and um, my animals and my family. For, so for me, that's what I go with. So that's what I'm giving away, obviously. So I'm going to give away a sample on Monday of lemon, and I'll send whoever gets it, I'll send uh, information leaflets that go with it. Peace and Calming, super cool has a little patchouli in it. It doesn't... My daughter says it smells like a dirty hippie. I don't think it's that strong. It does smell like patchouli, so a little bit like, you know, dirty socks or whatever, but it's not overwhelming. If you like patchouli, you're in luck. <laughs> Gonna give away a lavender sample. Billions of uses for lavender. A peppermint sample. And a thieves blend. Thieves Blend is like the workhorse. This is the one I started with and um, used it for a long time before I was willing to jump into a premium starter kit. Honestly, I should have just not wasted my time and gone straight for the pre premium starter kit. But, you know, anyway, 
these are great tester oils to see if the energy of these oils fit you. Along with that, I'm going to send this little, it's a five milliliter bottle. It'll be about three quarters of the way full of peppermint. I want to give extra peppermint because it's so useful for, I use it for um, uh, occasional headaches and um, indigestion, nausea. It'll kill nausea fast. And it doesn't even matter what the nausea is from because sometimes when I get a bad migraine, I get really nauseous. And the peppermint helps, for me, helps both of those things. So I'm going to give you a pretty hefty size sample of peppermint along with the five other samples. That's coming Monday. And we'll talk about a mood shifting tool that day too. Actually, I probably will just talk about peppermint that day. Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be a meditation day. And like I said earlier, I'm going to do a full gongyo, which is the liturgy liturgical reading from this. So Myoho Rengekyo is the Japanese translation of the Lotus Sutra. It's the title, the Lotus Sutra in Japanese. Myoho Rengekyo. And then Nam is the added word, study of everlasting. I know I'm screwing that up. I can't remember. I looked it up. I'm not a big one on details. I am more focused on how things work for me. So if it works for me, I don't really care too much about the details. So we're going to go through this whole book. And I'm going to chant Namyo Ho Rengekyo. And then we're, I'm going to chant this to you. And it's done at a pretty quick speed. So you should expect Wednesdays, Wednesdays to take maybe 20-30 minutes. And, you know, you don't have to follow along. Your job on Wednesday is just to relax and get the benefit of the sounds. There's something in those sounds that's extremely relaxing. So that's going to be Wednesdays. Meditations Wednesdays totally works. No need to understand the details. Actually, I feel like mantras where you don't, like I do some mantras in um, Hindi. I don't know what they mean. I mean, I know... I can look it up, but it doesn't really matter. It's the quality of the sound and the repetition, and it does something fantastic for the brain. So we're going to do that every Wednesday. We're not going to chant every Wednesday. You know, I'll do a guided meditation. I'll do a object meditation, a sound meditation. Just every Wednesday I'm going to be adding that. Monday's oils and mood shifting tools. Wednesday's some kind of meditation day. I want to keep the global meditation scope momentum going and I was a got to be a leader on that day I really enjoyed it and I want to keep that going so then Friday Saturday or Sunday and I can't decide yet which day probably not Saturdays because I have my twin granddaughters that day which means you know I have um, no ability to focus at all but over the weekend one of those three days I'm going to start offering free mini coaching sessions I use a lot of materials I use War of Art, Getting Through Blocks. I use a lot of Buddhist stuff. Cherie Huber, whole bunch of books. She's awesome about diving in instead of, you know, don't fight against the current. Something's going on, dive into it, and you'll come out faster. You know, swimming through a riptide, same thing. Go with it, and then ease yourself out of it. The, the world gives us all the metaphors we need. We're going to use some tools from Outrageous Openness, Tosha Silver. She has a book I've been using daily called Change Me Prayers. And it's not about I'm fucked up and I need to change. It's about I'm fighting reality and I need help to not fight reality. I need help to go with the tide and then ease myself out of it. I need help with that. So that's what those prayers are for. It's not I need... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You guys know. I'm sure everybody on here knows a little bit about what I'm talking about. You probably wouldn't have stuck around. <laughs> I use a lot of Martha Beck materials, so we'll use tons of exercises in here. Finding your North Star, Steering by Starlight is the other one, and then um, Wild New World, I think, is the other one. Packed full of exercises to break through limiting beliefs. I'll use um, Byron Katie stuff. Um, we'll go through a Byron Katie workshop. I just want people to start seeing coaching in action my version of coaching in action because everybody's different every coach is different I pull from so many tools there's no way I can list them all in my biography that would just be crazy 
So I thought, um, I just need to start showing people what I do. So keep an eye out for those coaching segments because I'll have you throw up an issue and, uh, you know, throw up. That's kind of gross. I'll have you comment. Put in the comment box an issue. Although, if you're nauseous, we can go back to that peppermint. Just kidding. Um, we'll talk about it. Like, we'll all just go ahead and coach people live. And that's, you know, many tiny sample coaches and not coaching sessions. And obviously, it's not going to go super deep because of the platform. But it'll give you an idea of some tools you can use. You'll always get a free tool out of it that you can use for yourself. And then, of course, the desire map. I'm a desire map facilitator. I lead virtual workshops. I have a virtual workshop coming up on September 15th. So this is probably the one I'll start with on um, Friday. I really don't know what day to pick. If you guys have a suggestion, I'm totally willing to hear it. I don't know what's better. I can't really do Saturday, so it's going to have to be Friday or Sundays. Monday, emotions and moods. Wednesday, a, some kind of meditation technique. And Friday or Sunday, a free coaching session for people. So we'll start with the desire map. The desire map um, basis is you go through and you decide, instead of saying, I want to lose 15 pounds by um, tomorrow, you would go through and think about, how am I going to feel if I'm 15 pounds lighter? Like, what's that going to feel like? Am I going to feel more free? Am I going to feel... Um, more, am I going to have more energy? Like, what's the feeling? What's the essence of it? Because we're not chasing the goal. We're not chasing the outcome. We're truly trying to get the feeling that's at the end of that goal. So if you want to buy a new house and that's a goal for you this year, you we would go through and figure out, like, what's the emotion behind home ownership? What does that mean to you? Do you need to own a home because you want to feel like you are in touch with your peer group. Um, I actually know people who want to buy homes because they're in their 30s and they see their peer group buying a home and they want to buy a home so that they're in, in line with their peer group. But home ownership isn't for everybody. Um, sometimes it just doesn't make sense. So it's important before you dive into goals to determine what you're seeking underneath it all. So for some people... They want to buy a home because they want to feel right, being a nomad. Yeah. So the emotion behind your desire, absolutely. If you pick, if you get to the, oops, sorry. <laughs> if you get to uh, the emotion you're trying to get to, your goal pulls you toward it instead of you scrapping out there, scrapping and scrambling and trying to get to your goal. You anchor on your emotion. And any time you get knocked off that feeling, you find a way to come back to it. And that's what the coaching process with desire mapping is about. It's the tools. It's the tricks. It's the help with, yeah, it's help clarifying the, the feeling that you're really after. Because sometimes it's hidden. And you may know the feeling. And you may be doing what you need to do to stay in that feeling. And then what happens is the blocks start to come up. And then all those other books that I... It changes everything. So when the blocks come up, then there's all these other tools that we talked about that we'll go over. There's always journaling in my house. The written... Writing the written word is everything. Um, the desire map process has you do a lot of writing because it's neurologically proven that writing with your hand on paper actually creates changes in the brain and it increases your memory it increases and I don't know about you um, but when I start journaling and really just let out let it go all kinds of information comes to me about what's going on with me like when I'm hiding something from myself because we're all pretty good at lying to ourselves um, yeah so the process of journaling helps you uncover the little tricks the little mind tricks yeah, Desire Mapping is really cool. You can go to desiremap.com or you can go to my website. It's CA. No, never. We never lie to ourselves, right? My website has a write up on it. It's caddyshackdesigns.com forward slash desiremap. And caddy is C A T T Y shack, 
designs. CaddyshackDesigns.com forward slash desire map. Definitely check it out if you have any interest at all. It's huge. This book and the workbook that you can get with it, absolutely, absolutely. And then come back and tell us what you think or do a scope on it. I'll follow you. Can I follow you right now? Uh, I, am I already following you? I am. Am I already following you? And now, okay. So, good. Do a scope on it and let me know, let us know what you think about it. I found it to be really powerful. And the women in my workshops also found it to be really powerful. And actually, all of them have experienced, um, f the Desire Workbook is on the website, too, or you can find it again on my website, my website, caddyshackdesigns.com forward slash desire map, or you can go straight to desiremap.com and there's a virtual workbook and a hard workbook. And the workbook is what we go through in my virtual workshops. We spend five weeks as a group, uh, hour and a half, um, going, going through the workbooks together. Oh, you can totally do desire mapping on your own. Absolutely. Absolutely. I did it on my own. There's group, there's special things that happen in groups, but it's absolutely not required. No, not at all. This is set up to do it yourself. And the workbook is set up to, it's so clear, um, you know, you can totally just sit down, open it, and get started. Yeah, so Blue Bobcat took the workshop and uh, a job breakthrough, a huge job breakthrough as I remember, and um, big energy increase. So um, the job thing was weighing her down pretty heavily. And then the breakthroughs came during the five-week process. So once, once you figure it out, once you break through the limiting belief or the block or the memory or the habit or whatever it is, budget wouldn't allow a workshop, but you'd like to get started ASAP. Yeah, yeah. Uh, DM me. Um, Evie, send me a DM on, uh, on Twitter with your, um, email address. Oh, thanks. I love that. I'm a cat blogger too. That's not my primary, um, thing, but I love doing, um, cat product reviews. Start where you are. Absolutely. Absolutely start where you are. Whatever you can do. Five minutes a day. Whatever. So, okay. So Monday oils. This Monday I'll be doing an oil giveaway. Wednesday, guided med or some kind of meditation technique. Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, we'll be chanting Nam Myoho Rengekyo. That's from Soka, S O K A, Gakkai, G A K K A I, Buddhism. You can go to S G I USA dot com if you want the details on that. Really, for me, it's just the sound and the rhythm does it for me. So that I'll be leading you through that on Wednesday. And, um, you can't do chants? Do they? Oh, TMJ. But you can listen. I'll chant for you Wednesday and you can listen. You can get the benefits from listening too. Oh, TMJ sucks. Oh, yeah. I bet it really does suck. That's too much. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah, gosh. Owie. Oh, gosh. That's terrible, you guys. That's so painful. Um, so, yeah, just listen to the chant. Definitely don't chant if it's going to make your face hurt. That would be horrible. And then uh, Friday or Sunday, we'll do some coaching sessions. This week, I'll start with Desire Map, and I'll pop in and give people warning, and I'll put it on Perry Girls. Yeah, that would be sad, too. So I'll put uh, the final schedule on Perry Girls. If you guys aren't following Perry Girls already, you should be. Um, it's a great support net network. Same thing for um, Tag Tribes. So let's get some free coaching. So Evie will be doing free coaching with Desire Map. Perrygirls.com. Go there. Follow that. Um, pay attention to their broadcast. So much talent. So much talent. Um, follow at Web Evie. She does a great like intro to Periscope scopes and um, shares a lot of her personal journey, which I know makes people feel better because everyone's hurting for one reason or another and um, she's really great about being vulnerable and um, sharing her life process which helps people always sharing our stories helps totally absolutely um, so okay any questions about that stuff trying to get you guys some freebies thanks for the love 
Freebies, freebies for everybody. Oil freebie coming Monday. Free meditation Wednesday. Free coaching Friday or Sunday. Can't can't decide on that one yet. So probably will end up being this about this time on Sunday because I think people have more time available Sunday Sunday afternoons. Okay, gosh, thanks for all those hearts. Look at that. I want to hear like a, it would be too annoying, but a little like bubble popping sound when the hearts are going. That'd be so funny, but it would drive you nuts. Any questions? I, I don't know what that is. I've been off Facebook a lot this weekend. Is it on, if I go to the Perry Girls Facebook page, will I see it? Scope week. I am going to keep doing the Global Meditation Scope hashtag on Wednesdays for sure because I really want to. That was a really cool event to expose people to all different kinds of meditations. Like you two said, said you can't do chanting for TMJ, but there's there's other kinds. There's movement. There's lots of ways to meditate. There's many paths, many paths to spirit, many ways to meditate. Okay, I'll look for it. I will definitely look for it, because I'm sure I will. I really love this Periscope stuff. I really love it when my signal works. And I love it most when I can broadcast you guys from the stream. But, oh, okay, I do know what that is. I do know what that is. And I'm actually going to be, yeah, the ohm doesn't hurt. Ohm, because that, that, your jaw's not moving. The nam myoho Rengeku chant, that would hurt your jaw. Um, the Scope Week is in New York, and I won't be going to that because I actually got invited to do a meditation class at a conference in Florida that I think is at the same time. So I have to, I'm going to go do that Florida thing because that's easy driving distance for me. It's only about eight hours away from, I'm in North Georgia. Yeah, super fun. It was my first invitation to a conference. I've presented at conference professionally for years, but for, a, you know, for an agency or a company, not for my own personal stuff. So I went to Blog Pause Conference this year, but I had submitted a proposal that they accepted. So this one in Orlando is the first one that I've been asked to come to. So to me, that's a huge thing. And that actually came after my desire map work because I was blocking stuff um, because of money, money beliefs hold me back so anyway okay i'm gonna sign off and thank you and i'll put my schedule in perry girls too and hope to see you guys here monday for an oil giveaway and wednesday for meditation and then we'll just start doing some free coaching thank you thank you thanks for being here thanks for all the hearts you're welcome you're welcome absolutely have a wonderful rest of your sunday see you next week you're welcome <laughs> this button never wants to turn off my phone once it gets going likes to keep going <laughs> okay